What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's Blitz today, we're looking at the 3-4 even formation that can be found in the Houston Texans defensive playbook. And uh, the play we're going to be looking at today uh, is the weak Blitz 3. Uh, we talked a lot about, you know, yesterday how to get pressure off of the right. In today's video, we're going to focus on the weak Blitz and the weak Blitz 3 on how we can possibly get pressure uh, off of the left edge here. So, weak Blitz 3 or weak Blitz, uh, they're both the same concept. And basically, we're just going to use this Blitz angle from Robertson to create the pressure. So... Uh, unlike in what we did yesterday, there's two adjustments instead of just one. So we're going to base a line uh, just to make sure everybody's in the right positions. Uh, and then we're going to crash the line out. And we're going to re blitz that left of screen DB. And there you see it's going to create that overload concept left side. And that time the center slid over. And that doesn't, that sometimes can happen. So we're going to make, uh, if you want to, you can also. And this is actually, this is probably the best way to get pressure, is if you just want to stand there with Robertson to create the six-man, uh, three-man both side edge look, then it's a lot more effective, but it's also, it also requires you to manually use him every time. So one thing also some guys will do is they'll spread their linebackers, uh, and there you see the pressure does come in that time. So um, real quick, we'll show you what we did there. We just crashed our line out, we base aligned, we spread our linebackers, and we re that left of screen outside linebacker. And uh, you saw there at the snap it comes in. And then you see, like this, just it, it just has to do with the alignment, guys. A lot of times, you, what I teach uh, from what I can find here is that if if the backer, if this backer here, the middle linebacker that's blitzing here, if he's wider than the tackle, the tackle will pick him up. From what I can tell, I mean, here you'll see um, we get him on the inside of the tackle, and that time the guard will pick him up. But then, as we saw earlier, before if we get him down, like maybe even right about here then all of a sudden then the tackle may pick him up or he may even come through the b-gap himself so it just kind of depends on the placement of him like you said you know one way we can easily like i said one way we could easily get the pressure is to just maybe sit him here in a, in a hook zone like so and hold l2 at the snap of the ball and fake blitz with him and then pull out uh into coverage so just a lot of things you could do with that a lot of the things that you could do to get this pressure uh, that's why I would say if you are going to use this I would use this guy over here and then if you wanted to send it off the right what you could do is you could get a little adjusty here and you would need that extra blitzer because you're going to hold him so you hold him here and then you fall out and then you see you can get him to roll but it's all it's all in, in your head right now you know just basically basic ideas of how you would get that left edge uh, I know some people like to contain um, contain Robertson here uh, it just depends, guys. It, it really does on how the way the game picks it up. Um, but I think, you know, if you want a no-brainer uh, solution on how to get pressure off of that left edge, then just simply just hold Robertson in the gap and let the let the tackle react to him. If he doesn't react to him, you'll have, you know, decent coverage behind it. You'll be fine. Um, it's just, you know, guys, it's just part of the game, the way the game works. This year. I mean, you could even leave him on this contain and then hold L2. So now they pick him up. Now they don't know where to go. And then you see the now you have the coverage with your user control player over the middle. So it's all based on what you would do. I would say the best thing for me is I would just hold him here, to be honest. And then just hold L2 at the snap and hope that he doesn't get. And then he engages and he can drop out. So uh, just depending on what you guys want to do, there's I showed you a couple different ways to get it. Uh, but my favorite and, and the one I'm going to teach is to, to put him in a hook zone right here. Hold L2 and R2 at the snap the ball, and he'll just sit there, and the tackle will occupy, and then you can drop out. So that's the blitz of the day for this week. Uh, be sure to come back tomorrow. We'll show you how to get uh, two-way pressure out of the 3-4 even formation. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.